my name is Carly Bly, and we are currently in Carmel, California, learning about all of the connected services within the all-new RAV4. So the first connected service that we're gonna mention is Safety Connect. Safety Connect is standard across the board on all of our RAV4, starting at the LE, moving up through the grades. What's neat about Safety Connect is it goes alongside with one of our biggest pillars of Toyota, of safety. Um, so it gives you automatic collision notification. So if you're in an accident and your airbags deploy, somebody is actually going to come on the line and make sure you're okay and dispatch emergency services. It's also great for if you need roadside assistance or if you have someone steal your vehicle, um, they are able to locate it for you as well as bring you fuel or change your tire or if you do get an offender bender they can dis dispatch someone but very easy all you do is hit the SOS safety connect button and from there they will dispatch over the speakers now the important thing to note on that is that customers must enroll in these connected services in order for them to work otherwise if they're in an accident and they have not enrolled they will not have the support so something important to note Safety Connect has a three-year trial, and when the subscription has run out, you will be notified. The second connected service we're going to talk about is Service Connect. And that service is something that we are working very closely with our customers and our dealers to help them build a relationship once they purchase their vehicle. Service Connect allows the dealership to communicate with the customer if their indicator light comes on or if they need a service such as their 5,000 mile um, tire rotation or their 10,000 mile oil change, things like that. Um, so when the notification comes up, the customer is notified on their screen and once they've opted in and enrolled within the connected service, the dealer is actually able to notice on their computers that the customer has an issue. They give the customer a call and say, hey, Mr. Customer, it looks like you need your 10,000 mile service done. Um, can you come in at four o'clock this afternoon? We have an opening. And just like that, the customer then has an appointment. So we're trying very hard to work to make the process seamless for the customer and the dealers. Um, that also comes with a three-year trial. And then once the subscription is done, the customer is notified. The third connected service is Remote Connect. And that feature is something that customers can use um, through their phone, through their smartwatch, through their Alexa device, um, and it gives them the capability to start their vehicle from anywhere, um, as well as unlock and lock their vehicle. It gives them a vehicle status so they can see what windows are open, if their doors are unlocked, um, and lastly, a vehicle finder. And that vehicle finder gives them the ability to find their vehicle wherever it may be, if you get lost in a parking garage, um, or if you're at a baseball game and you don't remember where your car is and everyone's doing the, the flashers, this gives you the ability to find your car without the hassle. Um, and lastly, on Remote Connect, you have the ability to set some parameters, such as speed limit, driving distance, um, just so that if you valet your car or if you let someone borrow your car, you can see what they're doing with it. Um, and that service comes with a six month trial. And after that, the customer is notified. Um, the fourth service is Wi-Fi Connect, and that is standard across the board. So each vehicle comes with a two gig or six month trial, and that is Wi-Fi throughout your vehicle. Uh, and that is through Verizon. And once that trial is up, then they will need to work with Verizon to continue on the subscription. Um, depending on the model you have, you may get dynamic maps. Um, that is on our premium head units. And on our premium head units, such as this vehicle, the dynamic maps is a constantly updating map through your cloud. Um, so the cloud is constantly pinging, so it knows when new things are coming. So I'll give you an example. If I'm driving down the road today and there's nothing around me, and then six months later I drive down the road and there is a Wendy's, and I do a point of interest search, it's gonna show me that there's a Wendy's that I can go eat at. Um, so that is a neat, neat service that comes again as a three-year trial for the customer. With these services, it's going to depend on the head unit that you have for what comes available and what does not. All of these services do come on your premium head units. Your Safety Connect, Wi-Fi Connect comes standard on your base unit and above. And then once you get to your plus unit, you are looking at your Safety Connect, Wi-Fi Connect, Remote Connect, Service Connect, and Remote Connect. So with those, like I said, depending on the grade, you're gonna get a little bit of some extra additions to your connected services. So something else that's brand new on the RAV4 is Toyota Plus Alexa. Toyota Plus Alexa works through our app suite and it is available on all of your Android devices that are capable to 
work with the operating system. Um, so what you do is you have your phone paired to your vehicle via Bluetooth and you have two different ways to launch it. I'll show you the first way, which you go to menu. And like I said, this one is already paired via Bluetooth and I go to my apps. And if you look, I have my Intune suite open and it tells you that it's connected via Bluetooth. So all I do is hit Toyota plus Alexa. So not only can I launch this through the head unit, but I can actually launch it through your uh, steering wheel through your voice command. So you have the ability to turn her down so that when you say her name, Alexa, she does not talk. So if you're having a conversation and you're talking about someone named Alexa and you don't want her popping up, all you have to do is mute her wake word. So currently she's muted. I'm going to unmute her. We're going to show you an example. Alexa, what's the weather today? Currently in Delray Oaks, it's 66 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Today, you can expect mostly sunny weather with a high of 71 degrees and a low of 43 degrees. So something neat about this is that not only does it work as a normal Alexa would within your house, but it works in your car so you can find navigation instructions, you can ask the weather, um, it keeps it hands free. So if you want navigation, it can actually integrate within the dynamic nav or scout. Something else to note is that it does work in the house, like I said. So I'll give you an example of that, how it could connect to your smart devices. Hey Alexa, turn on my lights at home. So because I don't have her tied to any devices, this is why she can't find any. But she does give you instructions on how you could connect her to your lights. But that's just an example of another safety feature that she can integrate because if you're coming home to a dark house, you want to have your lights on or you want to open your garage or say you don't remember if you turned your lights off, this gives you the ability to do so without having to turn around and go back home. So that is Toyota Plus. I'm going to mute her. Alexa. Um, just don't want her talking to us. So again, something else that we mentioned that we have now is CarPlay within our vehicles. Um, this is standard on every single RAV4 and all you're going to do is you're going to plug in your phone. So I want to note that this Android is currently connected via Bluetooth. As soon as I plug my iPhone in, it's actually going to take over the multimedia system. So not only is it going to tell me on the screen that all Bluetooth devices will be disconnected, I'm going to say okay, that's fine. It's going to also tell me that the Intune app suite, which is what we were using, is not able to run when CarPlay is enabled. So you're going to say okay because like I said CarPlay takes over the multimedia system. So all you do is select CarPlay and there you have all of your apps. So the neat thing is as soon as you unplug your iPhone this Android phone will reconnect. So I unplug, put that one down, we'll give it a second just to think here and if you guys see it already connected immediately let it think for another second. Now it's loading and it's going to reconnect to the Intune app suite. And then from there, we are able to use all of our apps, including Toyota plus Alexa. So those are all of the connected services in the vehicle. And for the rest of them, I can show you them over at the TV. All right, so the neat thing about the Toyota Remote Connect app is it's on your phone. And you have the ability to start your engine, stop your engine, lock and unlock the doors, find your vehicle, and do vehicle status. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you vehicle status since we were just in the car. And it goes off the last key cycle. So it's telling us that we have 211 miles till empty. There are seven alerts, and those alerts include doors that are unlocked, windows that are open, trunk that is unlocked. You go under the alerts. The driver door is unlocked. The driver window is open. Passenger unlocked passenger window open, so on and so forth down the line. Um, it's also going to give you details about your odometer, your different trips that you've made, um, and again, is your hatch closed, is your hood closed, those types of things. Um, you have the ability to go through and hook up five people or valet modes. Um, they are able to activate different features on such as um, mileage, speed, distance, and parameter. Um, so it's pretty much a very, very neat app that will allow you to connect with your phone wirelessly uh, from anywhere. And this is run off of your cellular network and the DCM in the vehicle. So as long as you have good cellular network and the DCM is working, then you will be able to start your vehicle from anywhere. 
Now the watch works very similarly where you open up the app, you can start or stop your engine, lock or unlock your doors, check your vehicle status, and use your vehicle finder. So you're able to do both of those not only from your smartphone, but now from your smart watch. Now we mentioned earlier that you have Alexa, and in the car you have Toyota Plus Alexa, and here you have the Alexa skill through Amazon. Now this is something that you can use to connect smart devices in your home or connect your remote feature for your car. So I'll give you an example of something that Alexa can do. Hey Alexa, open Toyota. Welcome to Toyota. How can I help? How much fuel do I have in my car? Your RAV4 has approximately 210 miles before empty. So if you notice on the Remote Connect app, not only did it say we had 211 miles till we were empty, this just said roughly 210. So it is in real time based off of the last key cycle, so it's able to keep up with whatever is going on in our RAV4. So that's a neat feature. You are still able to use any remote function that you could on your handset, such as remote start, remote stop, unlock, lock your doors, um, and again, check your status, such as what is my fuel level. So those are some of the neat connected features we now have on the brand new 2019 RAV4.